of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing such a well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be making biscuits and sausage gravy. Yes, ma'am, I love this shit. Okay, when I was a little girl, I, I mean, this dish is so nostalgic to me because when I was a little girl, I ate this all the time. Like, I grew up in Hawaii and it wasn't, it's not like, prevalent there but every summer I would come home and like visit my grandparents and my grandma was always hooking it up with the biscuits and sausage gravy let me tell you so it's very nostalgic to me this dish and today we are going to recreate it vegan style yes ma'am because you know how we do so there are a number of different ways that you can make gravy right um but basically the the premise is you start with a roux which is a fat and flour and it cooks to make it like a paste and then you add your milk so that is what we're going to use today you can use coconut oil olive oil avocado oil whatever you want i'm using vegan earth balance butter yum before we get started whenever i make my gravy i don't really use like measurements right i just kind of throw it into the pan adjust as i go but if you're just getting started on making gravies and sauces and stuff like that, um, just remember you're going to need two tablespoons of fat oil and two tablespoons of flour per one cup of milk. So I'm going to be making three cups of gravy that I have. I have three cups of almond milk right here. So I'm going to need six tablespoons of butter and six tablespoons of flour. Now I know that seems like a lot, but I want a lot of gravy for this because I don't want to run short. But usually, people usually make like one or two cups of gravy, okay? In here, I've got my vegan butter that we are going to start heating up. And you want to keep your gravy at like medium heat throughout the whole process, okay? So this cast iron gets really hot and also this flame is really, really close to the cast iron. So I am gonna be like adjusting my pan a lot, but just keep yours on, on medium, okay? So while that's melting, I need to get something to drink. I'm parched. Now traditionally gravy, a lot of the times is used with like pork fat or bacon drippings, like you'll cook that and then use the grease from that same pan to make your gravy. But you know we don't fuck around with that shit around here. So we are using the vegan butter today and also I didn't, we're gonna be using vegan sausage, but I didn't wanna use that same pan because I want my gravy to be really, 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 really white. So I didn't wanna use like any, that same pan to make, to kinda like darken my gravy a little bit. Okay, anyways, all right. Now let's add the flour. Okay, and we're just gonna whisk this all in there and cook it up. And you wanna cook the flour for a couple of minutes because that is gonna cook out like the grittiness of the flour. You don't, you don't wanna not cook out the flour flavor otherwise. It's not gonna be too good. But do you see how quickly it like turns clumpy like that? That's good, that's good, that's what you want. So let's just kinda like let this cook for a little bit. My flame went out, see I was trying to keep it really low, okay. This burner thing like makes your pan really, really hot. This is a camping stove also. Sometimes I get questions on it. I have it linked down below if you wanna, if you wanna check it out. Okay. Also you guys, I got a DM from somebody who watches my videos on Instagram and um, I'm gonna read you the message and then we're gonna talk about it. She asked me a question, but she brought up something that I just really wanted to talk about. So, um, or he, I think, no, it's a she. <laughs> um, I didn't ask her if I could like say her name. I did, well, she didn't reply. I just got the message, but I am gonna talk about a few things in there. So, let's just let this cook down a little bit. All right. All right, you guys, like, I'm sorry my girls are coming out to play today, but like, I'm going out later, so I wanna look cute, you know what I'm saying? Now, we are going to be adding our milk. I'm using almond milk. You can use whatever kind of plant-based milk you'd like. Um, so here it is right here. Okay, I have a towel right here. I The reason why that plastic bag is in there is because 
this is like a box of almond milk that was in my pantry and um, it wasn't cold. When you make your gravy, you wanna add your um, milk to your pan cold because it prevents a lot of clumping from the flour. So let's just start off slow. We're gonna add one cup of the almond milk. Don't wanna burn it, turn the, turn the heat up if you got it. Or down, whatever. And then we stir, stir, stir. You see how quickly that's soaked up? Okay, let's add one more. One more cup. Oops, I'm making a mess here. So I just added one more cup, and I'm just gonna keep stirring. Now you don't have to use a whisk. I prefer to use a whisk because it gets all the clumps out a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, you just keep stirring, just keep stirring. Mm. I'm gonna cut all this out, but what you haven't seen is I've been sitting here um, working in the almond milk and stirring, like whisking vigorously to get all these clumps out. At first it might not seem like all the clumps are gonna come out, but they will come out, I promise. Just gotta keep working it. Just keep whisking, just keep whisking. <laughs> we're using sausage, which is good. I'll show you what we're using. We're gonna add this later. But this is the Gardein breakfast patties sausage. If you can't find these <clears throat> in your store, excuse me, some stuck in my throat. If you can't find these in your store, check the breakfast section. They might be in there. Okay, so that's what we're using. I just chopped them up and then um, cooked them in a pan. And if you've noticed, we haven't seasoned it yet. We're not gonna do that yet because like if you add salt in too soon, it could, before like the gravy thickens up, it could like separate the oil and it, it just becomes like really weird and oily. I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. Let's add some spices. I would add a fresh cracked pepper. I don't know where my fresh cracked pepper grinder went. I lost it like when I moved and I just haven't gotten another one yet. So that's just some white pepper that I'm gonna be mixing in there, okay? And then I like to add, let me turn down the heat a little bit so we don't burn. I like to add a little bit of thyme, just a pinch. And then I like to add, where did I put it? Where'd I put it? And then I like to add a little bit of pinched sage, which I would put in right now, but I'm gonna add it later because it's over there and I'm mic'd and I, I don't wanna like fuck all this up right now. So add some pinched sage if you'd like, and then salt. Now, um, I, I'd be pretty liberal with the salt. Always taste before you add way too much salt. But in my experience with vegan gravies, you need a little bit of extra salt than normal. Okay, so. <laughs> She's looking good. Also, I've added this to my gravies before. This is Mrs. Dash Chicken Grilling Blend. This is pretty good. I really actually like to add this to my gravy, but the sausage, the vegan sausage that we're gonna be adding in there has some really nice flavor too. So we really don't need to add too much flavor to the gravy okay so right now it's a little bit thinner than how I would like the consistency of my gravy to be but we're gonna leave it like that because it's gonna get thicker as it cools down and we're also going to be um, putting it in the oven later and you'll see why because we're gonna do something really cool and um, yeah so this is where I'm gonna turn off the heat and then I'm gonna taste it to see if it needs some salt Uh -huh. It needs some salt. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> mm. 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 It'd 
be so much better if I had some fresh cracked pepper. Mm, but I don't. Let's add a little bit more white pepper though. There we go. All right, let's mix that up. Now I know I'm licking my spoon and just dumping it back in there like a monster, but you know what? It's my gravy and I'll do what I want to. Oh no, now I can taste the pepper, yes, okay. All right, you guys, now let's move on to the next step. Okay, now don't kill me, but I'm totally not going to be making my own biscuits from scratch. I much prefer canned biscuits. I don't know if it's because like I grew up on them, I don't know, but I have tried this amazing recipe from a, this awesome girl here on YouTube. Her name is Solo Budget Vegan. I'm gonna link her buttermilk biscuit recipe right up here. They're really, really good. So if you wanna learn how to make them from scratch, check out that video up there. But today we are gonna be using the Immaculate Honestly Delicious Organic Flaky Biscuits Ready to Bake. There's also Annie's Organic um, Biscuits. Those are vegan and oftentimes, like you can find like HEB brand, their butter flavored biscuits are vegan. You can find a lot of vegan biscuits. So fret not. So let's open this up. Okay. Peel off this label, peel off white label inside where indicated. Okay, and then wait, let me read the instructions. How do I cook this? Heat oven to 350, done. Place biscuits, blah, 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 blah. Okay, bake for 19, 16 and 19 minutes. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. Let's take that off, and then I think you have to take this off. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna pop them open. Okay, press spoon, I don't have a spoon. Press spoon at seam until can pops. Okay, Ooh! <laughs> Act like you surprised, like you didn't know what was gonna happen. Okay, so let's get all of our biscuits out and we are gonna be doing something super friggin' delicious with these biscuits. Okay, you guys, so you think we're just gonna make regular ass biscuits and gravy? I don't think so. No ma'am, no way, no how. That's not how we do. Oh. Okay, so we should have eight biscuits, right? How many biscuits come in here? Eight, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing a biscuit, man. <laughs> Did I peel them apart wrong? I don't think so. Did I get chipped a biscuit? That's not right. Okay, well, we are gonna make our own freaking biscuit. Maybe I did pull them apart wrong, who knows. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some from other biscuits and make shift another, I don't know. And, oh well, that's okay, we'll figure it out, okay. We're gonna stuff these biscuits with some cheese, y'all. This is Dea Cheddar Style Shreds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the biscuits in half like this, and we're gonna put some cheese in the middle of each biscuit, okay? Yum. And then fold them back over. All right, look, and just like that, we've got some cheesy biscuit sammies. Okay, so. I'm gonna start with half. So right here, I've got my larger cast iron skillet. This is a 12 inch cast iron skillet. And we are going to be putting in the biscuits around the rim of the cast iron. This is greased with some vegan butter. So put that in there. And then the next one. Mmm. Just like that. Okay, so there's half. Now let me work on the other half and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so here's what the biscuits look like in the pan. So now I'm gonna take my Gardein vegan breakfast sausage that I, again, crumbled and um, cooked in a pan and add them to the gravy right now. And again, the reason why I am doing that is because I wanna keep the gravy as white as possible. So that is why I'm adding it now. Yum. Okay. So we just mix that all in there. Okay, look at this. Oh, yum. Okay, 
and now we are going to add this gravy to this biscuit bowl of goodness okay into the middle. Okay, so what this is, is a little bit of garlic powder and some melted vegan butter, rest in peace, trying to be a skinny vegan. And we're just gonna give the top of the biscuits a butter bath. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 18 to 19 minutes and I'm gonna clean up all this mess and I'll see you when it's time to eat. Oh my God, you guys, check this out. <gasps> Look how delicious this looks. Oh my God, <laughs> yes. Towards the end of the cooking process, I put the broiler on for like one minute to crisp up the tops of the biscuits. This looks so good. So it's been sitting out of the oven for about 10 minutes. Now normally you would just like get a spatula and scoopy out a couple of biscuits and eat it that way, but we're just gonna eat it right out of the pan. So yum, okay. I think it should be cool enough to eat. So I got my napkin right here. Okay, so let's get started. This one's calling my name. All right, so let me cut this one in half and get some gravy on there oh, look at that mm, can you see sorry if it's pretty overexposed that might be too big of a bite for my first bite I just don't want it to burn my mouth okay it should be good mmm Holy shit, wow, that is good. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I gotta cut it in half a little bit because that bite was way too big. I almost choked. Oh, look at that, get some gravy on there. You guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I wish you guys were here to have some of this with me. The flaky biscuits. Oh my God, they're so good. Now, if I could do anything differently, I would have put less gravy in there because the I, to, to be honest, the biscuits are still a little bit soggy. Not by much. Like I think I probably should have just cooked it longer, but they're cooked all the way. They're just a little bit mushy from the um, gravy. But honestly, like, I don't give a fuck. This shit is so good. Oh my God. Mmm. You guys. Mm. Do you see how much the gravy thickened up? It's just like chunky now. Okay. If, if you wanted it to be like more watery, you just add a little bit more almond milk while it's um, hot or water, whatever you need. Okay, so you guys, if you live in Texas and suffer from allergies, then you guys know the pain of allergies. I have been suffering with allergies for the past couple days. And it is no freaking joke. Like this morning, my allergies were so bad that I felt like I couldn't even get out of bed. Oh my God, my throat is sore. I was coughing. Like, I don't know if you can still hear, but I'm pretty nasally. And um, like, it's just so bad. So I, and on top of that, they like make you feel really lethargic, but I've been taking like Flonase and all that stuff and allergy medicine, but I like got up and took a really hot shower and it helped so freaking much, you know, just kind of get all that yucky stuff out. And I feel so much better. Oh my God. This is dangerous, you guys. This is just too good. Like, I feel like I can eat this whole thing. Mm. 
Oh my god. Oh, you guys, I need some suggestions. So, do you guys know of any like hip hop artists, rappers, anything like that, that um, you really, really like? I'm trying to find some, cause I really like love hip hop rap. There's nothing like bars on a sick beat, bro. <laughs> but the only thing is, you guys, is like, I don't really connect with like the mainstream rap where it's like all about like money and cars and bitches and shit or whatever. I'm not saying all rap is like that, but do you guys have any suggestions of any artists that you could tell me to check out? Because I love, I just love, uh, love rap music, but I want to like try to find something new. I don't know. And I really like female rap artists. I mean, I, I can go either way, but I really like rap female artists. That, But, like, I don't know. I, I can't really, like, get down on the, like, you know. Like, is there, like, a rap artist that, like, talks about, like, <laughs> being single in a studio apartment <laughs> with a small dog and a cat? Like, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Dude, I can't get over how good this is. Like, can you see the cheese in there? Mm, look at that. Mmm. God damn. Mmm. Okay, so on Instagram, I got a DM that I just saw right before this, um, before I started filming, and it was a really nice message, and I wanted to read it and talk about it, and I had messaged her back, but I didn't hear back because, you know, it was kind of short notice um, to see if I could, like, ask her if I can, like, say her name and an answer her question in a video, but showing it back to me but I am gonna um read it and then I want to talk about it okay so hello this is super random <laughs> oh my gosh have you guys ever watched that um Chris Delia drunk girls stand-up skit where he talks about drunk girls and the girls say random oh my god I love it because it's so me I'm gonna link it here or in the description box. You have to go watch it. It's absolutely hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I have it written down right here. Okay. I recently started watching your channel. You're so funny and gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. That's so nice. I've decided to go vegan for Thanksgiving. And here, I'm like, yes, that's awesome. Okay, we've got, like, plenty of time. That's really cool. Like, go vegan for Thanksgiving. Yes. Okay. And then she goes... <laughs> <coughs> oh, first part. I'm Canadian, so it's on Monday. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, girl. Okay, okay, we got this. It's today. What? What's today? It's Thursday now. This is gonna come out on Sunday, but um, and I wanted to know if you ever tried Tofurky's holiday roast stuff, stuffed roast, whatever, and if it's any good. Um, I have tried it. Uh, years ago and I haven't tried it since but um, and it was okay but I can tell you right now because I've also heard from other people that it's really good but what they can do with vegan food these days is absolutely phenomenal so I can only imagine that that shit is bomb.com I do need to try it this year I will try it this year but get it it's good I, I know it's good well I've heard that it's good Okay, um, <clears throat> so then she says, I don't want anything to get in the way of me going vegan. And I love that drive, girlfriend. Like, that's amazing and really honestly, like, good for you. And I kind of wanted to, like, touch on that subject, um, especially because, like, we're coming into the holidays, right? And um, those of you who are vegan or vegetarian... 
know that it you know can be a little bit difficult for certain families to you know cater to vegans or vegetarians or you know they just don't do it at all or whatever or if people are trying to become vegan and vegetarian they have a really hard time around the holidays right But what really got me about this message that she said, or what she said, is I don't want anything to get in the way of me going vegan. And like I said, like I, I'm here for that drive. But what I want to tell you, girl, is <clears throat> not that you can't avoid it, because you absolutely can, but there, like going vegan is a lot harder for some people than it is for other people like it can be either way um but i just want to say that if you really want to do this you can please please i implore you do your due diligence and research and research and research some more i'm not sitting there stay up all night study but you have to go into it with a plan unless you're like super determined and you don't give a fuck and your whole mission is today I'm gonna stop eating animals because I want to save their lives and I don't want to participate in this and you'll eat beans and rice until you figure it out kind of thing go for it but if if you have a lot of other influences things getting in your way of becoming vegan family a spouse friend society You gotta do your research, girlfriend. I'm not trying to discourage you. It's totally possible. I'm just saying like, what you could do is get on YouTube and just start binge watching videos. Cause when I first went vegan, that's all I was playing. Was videos from other vegans, like lifestyle videos, food videos. I, like, whenever I started watching Hot For Food, at that point in time, I knew everything was going to be okay. <laughs> because, like, when you go vegan, you, you do have, like, conflicting, like, thoughts in your head. Like, why am I doing this? Like, what is this all for? This is hard. Fuck this. Like, I don't want to be, I want to be like everybody else. But... Or it's not convenient. I, I can't, like, blah, blah, blah. Because you do have to make sacrifices. You can't just go out <clears throat> to any fast food restaurant. Well, you can. There's a lot of vegan options. But, like, you just have to be super prepared. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, when I found Hot for Food, like I said, everything changed because... Like I, like, I realized that, like, anything is possible in the realm of vegan food. And also why I bring them up is because they have so much stuff on there for the holidays. Vegan dishes, like vegan Thanksgiving dishes, vegan Christmas dishes. And I use so many of those recipes to take to my Thanksgivings with my families. And my family loves them. And they're so good. So check out Hoffer Food. Check out Edgy Veg. Oh, I love her. Edgy Veg has this mushroom gravy recipe that's the tits. Oh, my God. So anyways, I feel like I was kind of like rambling around in circles with that. But... It just really got me the way you said, I don't want anything to get in my way. I don't want anything to get in your way either. But just be prepared that there's going to be some dodgeballs. Also, it's okay to fuck up, dude. Like, it is so okay if you mess up. It's so okay, like, if you decide you don't want to do it. Like, do I want the whole world to go vegan? Oh, yes, yesterday. But... Is it plausible? 
No. Is it going to happen? No. Do people, like, <laughs> are people going to do what they want to do? Yes. I, I think any reduction in animal consumption is the fucking tits. Like, anything you can do to, like, reduce your animal consumption is amazing. So if you like a vegan gravy just the same as you like a regular gravy, like, why wouldn't you make it vegan all the time? You're helping save animals, right? All right. So, I don't know. Am I answering your question? I tried the tofurkey shit a long time ago. And it was all right. They have this um, like vegan buffet at a restaurant in Austin for Thanksgiving. And I went there. It was actually when I was vegetarian. But I went there before I went to my family's Thanksgiving. And I ate there. I really, I mean, I love Thanksgiving, but it just kind of ticks me off because... I don't know, I don't want to get too deep on the ethical side of animal rights, but it's just kind of fucked up. I try to keep it kind of surface level on my channel, like, happy, like, veganism is so great. But, I mean, it is. But, you know, all I'm saying is that amazing vegan Thanksgiving food is absolutely 110% possible. And doable and you can rock it the fuck out girl okay okay mm. Mm. so that is it for me today i hope you enjoyed this amazing dish and i hope you try it it's so freaking good and i'm stuffed so i'm gonna get out of here and i hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!